In this week's access code, we're checking in on the 70421 zip code. Man Shack is an unincorporated community in Tangipahoa Parish, also known as Acres, Louisiana, because Willie Acres was the telegraph operator who began operating Man Shack's first post office back in 1857. Now they get their mail from Ponchatoula Post Office. In fact, just one route covers all of the zip code and there's only 130 deliveries, both residential and commercial. Children who live in the zip code go to Ponchatoula schools. There's not even a gas station, but they do have a star attraction. Acres, Louisiana is a tiny town located off I-55. The star attraction is Middendorf's, which is home of the original world famous thin fried catfish. It all began with Lewis and Josie Mittendorf. Lewis lost his job in Houston in the stock market crash, so they moved to the small fishing village of Manchac where Josie's family lived. Lewis was a World War I veteran. That's where the seed money for the roadside cafe came from. Every soldier got their $500 for fighting in the war. With this money, they opened Mittendorf. Lewis tended bar and made the customers feel welcome, but it was Josie's thin fried catfish that kept people coming back for more. So Mittendorf's open. This is Lewis and Josie Mittendorf on July 4th, 1934. Lewis passed away in 1947. The restaurant burnt down in 1948. Josie rebuilt it and listed it for lease. And Ms. Pat Wood Midland took it over in 1954. That was until her lease ran up and Josie's son, Dick, got home from the Army. He and his wife and two daughters ran it. And then in 1976, his oldest daughter, Susie, and her husband, Joey, took it over. And they ran the restaurant until 2007 when Horst and Karen Pfeiffer bought the restaurant. Horst and Karen Pfeiffer owned Bella Luna in the French Quarter, but it closed after Hurricane Katrina. They were looking for a new restaurant, but this time around, they had different priorities. About that time, a friend let them know Middendorf's was for sale. And Karen, my wife, uh, she said, well, if we start a restaurant again, I want something, not something new, I want to take something over. I want to have laminated menus, I want to have no tablecloths, and I want to have a line on the door and have parking. Middendorf's checked all of the boxes. So the couple went from fine dining to serving fish in the swamp. And they loved every minute of it. Horst has added his own spin, of course, but in the restaurant's 85th year, most of the recipes are still Josie's. Like they always said, don't change what's not broken. And you know, that's was the hardest thing on the beginning. Uh, we never said we change anything. We always adding to it. The couple's made all kinds of additions. The entire restaurant is raised. This is the porch, which is air conditioned. It's perfect to come in off the lake. And then right here is a sand area for kids. This place is absolutely packed on the weekends. It's in between the porch and this is the area that they call the deck and it's very comfortable to eat out here. As you can see, they have misters and fans and it's perfect because they can just come right off Lake Marpaw. This actually leads to boat slips, easy access. People just pull up and dock their boat. And Chef Pfeiffer tells me on a busy week, which their busy season is between Mardi Gras and Labor Day, they probably serve about 8,000 people per week. And that's only a five day week. They're not open on Monday and Tuesdays. When school starts back up and things start to slow down, the horse have specials to keep people coming back. In September, it's Fettuccine Frenzy. Oktoberfest in October. They sponsor the Man Shack Run in November and have a Christmas Wonderland in December. But Oktoberfest is the big draw. With the German name like Middendorf's and then me being German, I feel like we had to do it. That's why we put our maypole out there. A maypole with a Louisiana seafood twist. Horse says he's not bored frying catfish in a tiny town. In fact, he says it's more of a challenge, making sure a product that's been successful for over 80 years remains consistent. And Middendorf's is actually expanding, opening another location in Slidell. They broke ground last week on July 4th, which was the 84th anniversary of Middendorf's first opening their doors. But the Pfeiffers say they're about a year away from frying their first fish in Slidell. And for those of you who miss and crave Bella Luna pasta, well, Middendorf's fettuccine frenzy uh, is on Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays in September. And it's actually the same pasta that Horst served in the French Quarter. Mmm, you're making me hungry. 
And guys, next week we want to explore the 70117 zip code, the story of a wrong turn that grew into something really special in the Lower Ninth Ward. And if you want me to showcase your zip code, send me an email with your ideas to lspoon at wwltv.com. I'd love to hear from you. This is a good one, Leslie. Middendorf's is so yummy. I'm not a catfish fan, and they gave me some catfish. That's and issue number plates. one, but I'm going to let you go if you gave theirs the thumbs it's up. It's delicious. It is world famous. It's so good. Fried catfish Two is one up. of the best things ever. All right.